There's nothing more satisfying than taking a free kick and watching it go past the reach of the keeper into the net. So in this video, we're going over five soccer free kick habits that you need to develop if you want to start scoring more of your free kicks. What's up everyone, it's Dave here from Simply Soccer where we are helping you to improve your game and stand out on the pitch. On this channel we release daily soccer tip technique and training videos all designed to help you do that so if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button. In this video I'm just going to be going over five soccer habits that will help you to develop your free kick taking so that you're scoring more of them. Number one is to simply choose a technique. There are many different ways to take free kicks and you'll find that most professionals have a certain way to they like to take him. You look at Ronaldo, for example, he has a certain technique. You look at Messi, you look at the way Beckham used to take them. They're pretty consistent down the line when it comes to which technique they use. Picking one technique will allow you to focus mainly on that technique and get really good at it. For example, if Ronaldo was to work on more than just the technique he uses, he would not be as good at his current free kick technique. Same for Messi, same for Janino when he was playing. They all have trademark styles to their free kick taking. That's not to say you couldn't mix it up and that in different situations you wouldn't hit it in another way, but try and stick to one technique that you get really, really good at than trying to do five or six different techniques that you work on and you just get like maybe a little bit good at each one. Number two is just a little hack in matches and it may sound very simple, but pick your spot. Actually mentally imagine the ball flying into the spot you are aiming at. Some players will step up and just kind of have a huge area they're aiming for or some people will just hit, uh, step up and hit it as hard as they can and this is the last thing you want to do. Actually have a place and a spot you want to hit the ball. Players will do this when shooting as well. Very often they'll just try and say I'll hit it and hope it goes on target or hit it and hope for the best. This is not a good strategy to adopt. You want to pick a very specific area you're aiming for and even if you're a little bit off of that area you still will have a pretty good free kick. Number three is to think about catching the keeper off guard. Now usually you want to curl the ball or hit the ball on the side the keeper's not standing at, but a lot of times you'll see keepers cheat over to that side before you struck it. You'll find that many players will hit it on the same side the keeper is because once the keeper has taken that step, they've already shifted their weight in that way, meaning it's going to be very hard to then go back to the corner you've shot at. In fact, one of the most important goals I've scored, I did this where I hit it towards where the keeper was standing, he took that little step and he wasn't able to even move for it because his weight was already going in that direction. There are many other ways to catch the keeper off guard, for example going under the wall, although that's a pretty brave and hard technique, but you can see how these techniques will really not be something the keeper expects are unpredictable and can, if done uh, correctly, result in a goal for you. Number four is to use the wall to aim, especially if you're doing some kind of curling technique, and this is something I will do all the time, I will use one of the heads of someone in the wall to choose where I want to hit the ball when I start the curl. I'll of course want to go over them and higher than where they're going to jump, but I'll use them as my marker to aim. Now if the wall's in a little bit more, I'll use the last man in the wall to curl it around him. If they've moved out a little more, I'll just use like the second guy that's moved in as my um, target. This will just make it easier for you to hit it in that direction because again, you're thinking of exactly where you want to hit the ball. If you're just thinking I'll hit it over the wall and hopefully get it under the crossbar, it's not specific enough. Choose a person to aim at, uh, aim above them that is, and choose a spot in the goal that you want the ball to go to as a result of that. Finally, analyze every single free kick you take. The best way to learn, or at least the fastest way to learn, is to analyze every kick you've taken, whether it's in game or in practice. After you've taken the free kick, quickly go over what you did well and what you did wrong. So for example, if you miss the ball wide, you have to think, why did that happen? Did I aim too far out wide? Wide, or was there something wrong with my technique? If you hit it into the wall, you need to go and analyze how you hit the ball to see what went wrong. And the more you're finding out what goes wrong, the more you can adjust your technique and the way you practice so that you're starting to hit it more right. This is what's personally helped my free kick taking the most. I would go and practice my free kicks and every time I took a good free kick, I would go, okay, what did that feel like? You know, what did I do there for that free kick to be that good? All right guys, so those are just five quick 
free kick habits that you can develop in order to take better free kicks. Make sure you come back tomorrow because we're actually going to be analyzing the way Messi takes free kicks, going over a video called how to take free kicks like Messi. So if that's something you want to learn, make sure you come back tomorrow at 5 p.m. because that's what will be out. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what's the best free kick you've ever taken. Uh, let me know what happened, um, what kind of game it was, how good the free kick was, and all that stuff as well. Make sure you like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new and take a look at the two videos I put on screen, which will help you to continue learning and improving as a player. Thank you once again, and I will see you in the next video.